Hello guys, and welcome back. <laughs> yeah, pretty horrible start on that attack, uh, not gonna lie. Yeah, I did not like that. But okay, uh, in retrospect, I think we should have uh, attacked uh, with Rebuches over here, since that was his biggest unit stack, but okay. Let's see how bad our counter attacks will be. Wait two turns for a whip or whip this turn. I think we whip this turn actually. Instantly we grow and we get some pretty solid overflow. And do we get this guy in one turn? Yes we do. So that we want to do. Where everyone is just producing. Yeah, I don't think you can mess with our production, but it's uh, going to be a little bit annoying attacking him. And okay, did he reinforce? Uh, yeah, I probably did. Okay, we voted no, Sitting Bull voted no, Gandhi voted yes, the goal yes, Lincoln, okay. So people want to end the wars. Let's do a triple whip next turn. Were there somewhere we needed to irrigate or something? Okay, let's get some guys to fend off the cursors. And most of these guys actually just need to heal. So let's just get him on healing duty. Let's see what's in here that's dangerous. Is that one curious here that's pretty much uh, the most annoying unit? And one musketman actually. Yeah, I don't want to know why we have a spy over there, but let's just keep exploring. Okay, so this looks like his stack actually in Bombay. Okay, so it's that long woman that's a dangerous unit. So let's just do this. God damn it. And uh, now it's a gunpowder unit. Oh man, thank you. Um, okay, finally some, some luck. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's use this guy. Yes, thank you. Okay, so we are getting a bunch of gold, a lot of free culture. So that's a great city for us. I'm really happy about that city. Let's pick up some roads. Let's just get into your series protection, or what are we going to call it? Um, nice. Let's go and help defend that unit or these those units. Okay. But right now, I think we are in a much better position. <laughs> it quickly shifts. Uh, certainly do. We have a pretty solid position over here. Let's see, let's put these guys in position so they can attack next turn. And this great general going to settle over here. Make triple promoted units right out, right out of the gate. Grow another size in two turns. We'll get a unit in two turns. Ah, we're not going to starve. Okay, let's grow in two turns then. Yeah, we also now we are getting ridiculous culture over here. Thanks to the uh, that the wonder. 
uh, the Tarsh the Tarsh Wonder. So we can really, yeah, we're going to get that forest. <laughs> Hopefully, that'd be great picking it. Up. And yeah, we're going to triple whip here. That's pretty uh, wasteful. I know, but we get a lot of. Um, we do pick up a lot of. Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, let's pick up replaceable parts. Yeah, we do pick up a lot of um, overflow, and that's that's something. And we also are able to, uh, yeah. We also get a lot of gold from that uh, spirit mineral. That's pretty cool, and we get a twelve turn gold mage. Let's see, is there any other units over here? Yeah. Yeah, okay. This guy, he can join in on the attack. Is there anyone else? And this guy. Actually, going to upgrade this one. This one can work work as a defender. Let's get this guy involved as well. Yeah, I don't think it's too easy for him to counter attack uh, in this position. You know what? We don't need to work that culture thing anymore. Let's get out a long woman. Yeah, let's get out a long woman. We need some defenders in our new new cities. I don't know what, let's just triple whip over here as well. Same reason as before. Triple whipping gives a lot of overflow. And we need overflow. So, let's see what's the damage. No counter attacks. That's pretty nice. And we now can uh, reduce the defense over here. Okay. Great. Hopefully we'll be able to take this city. Okay, we have to wait until the next turn though. A lonely pike. Okay. Let's uh, do this though. Get some more promotions on this wicked weekend units. Yeah, this is nice. Getting one extra experience on that guy gives gives a free promotion. So yeah, he won't talk yet, but uh, I think he's getting closer. <laughs> You're going to feel uh, sorry for this guy. Like we're generating 25 culture return now, so. Not going to be a lot of fun. And we picked up another one of these. Uh, 
Uh, another reason why I kind of um, what is this? Yeah, every one of these units are so weak. Okay. Yeah, another reason why. Um, This is a little bit risky because if I remember correctly, these guys are still pretty good friends, which uh, might make it so that he has a unit or something in her train and he can pick up this one. We can get a 12 turn golden age and that seems kind of tempting actually. Twenty-seven turns. I don't think a twelve turn golden edge will do much for us. Let's just get this guy over here. <laughs> we need to heal our curiosers some so. Ah, okay. Oh yeah, perfect. Let's get this guy over here. And this is another guy that's pretty well upgraded, so let's just pay ton oh yeah, we have here's our reinforcements. Great. Yeah, we we got to be able to take that city next turn now. Yep, let's keep developing these cottages. We're going to pick up printing press. We're going to get guilds and maybe chemistry from Gandhi. Um, here's some more experience. Let's see. Yeah, all of these guys are pretty. Let's just take him out. So, nice. Yeah, and we don't want this rally point to go anywhere stupid. Let's see if we can just select the city. <laughs> okay, what's the hotkey? That's the wrong keys. Okay, I'm just testing what kind of hotkey you could use to select this city. Oh, nice. There, stop the rally point. But okay, uh, next turn. That's nice, no counter attacks. Yeah, let's just grab a couple of these uh, guys. <laughs> and I got another priest. It's not going to help you too much. And yeah, look at these guys. Four promotions already. And we're going to have a pretty well upgraded army. You know, let's uh, take this city first. And okay, let's, let's keep using this guy. Alright. Oh yeah. Good stuff. These buildings are ridiculous for us right now. Yeah, let's get some of these guys. We can just walk around and heal. Um, this is really nice. Do we go for this city, Calcutta, as well? You want to talk right now, so. Like the cities we want. They're a little bit far away. We want all of these cities. Or this. Delhi and Vigayan, yeah. But 
let's just focus on capitulating him as quick as possible because we want to go for Catherine really soon. Catherine will also give us chemistry and what it what not so. Let's keep on whipping. Getting some really nice whips here now. Ooh, yeah. This city is growing and giving a unit, so let's just do this. Yeah, but what is the smartest route to pick up uh, more uh, cities quickly? How long is the healing time here? Okay, we have this guy. These guys need one turn of healing. Ready to move. These guys, they are pretty damaged, so uh, probably not going to be too relevant. I think we just have to do this now. And I saw a pike over here, so let's just uh, put some okay defenders. Oh man, we have a lot of units incoming now. Where is the battle going to be? Uh, we have these guys, how many turns? 3 turns, uh, that's ok I guess. We kind of just want to counter attack and take out the stack somewhere. Um, yeah, here's his stack, he's 3 turns away. He might go for this city, so let's just stack up some units over here for now. And this guy, I think we're just going to retain him a little bit. We don't really need uh, anything right now. And it will be a really nice option to go into a golden age when you're finished with the war. It's always really nice to like, when you finish the war, go into a golden age, do a lot of civic switches and kind of just Re-establish your empire real quick. And Calcutta, how is that city doing? Yeah, I kind of want to get Calcutta. It's on flat land. We'll stop a lot of culture over here. And these guys, they are so badass. Look at those. They will easily compete with a temple. Give us gold and happiness and everything. So, I'm going to whip those out quickly. But okay, I think we're just going to wait for our reinforcements. That is completely fine. And see if we can't just take out a stack or something. You know what? Work that goal. And we hooked up our other bananas. Let's see, let's see if there's some trades we want to do. Probably is. Yeah, we can get 9 gold from this guy and some sugar. Yeah, let's give him copper. He might build a statue of liberty or something. And that's fine. He can uh, <laughs> he can do that. And okay, let's uh, let's check out every other unit. Yeah, how many units can we move? We can move five. How many units do we have? And we have two. So that's seven units. And we can reinforce with these guys. I think we're going to go for Calcutta next, actually. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think he needs a lot of uh, convincing. Uh, Calcutta is on flatland. It has pretty low production, so I don't think it's a big chance that he has a lot of units over there. And I, th I see his stack is uh, doing its thing over here. So I think that's going to be the city we are going for. We'll heal for one more turn. And then we'll go for Calcutta. Yeah, probably not going to be uh, too useful these trebuchets, but... Okay. I'm going to go for... I can actually get guilds... For Lib. Makes... What are you doing? Are you are you researching lib? Yeah, I don't think so. Let's just keep these guys as underdeveloped as possible. And nice, we hooked up our road over here. Let's get a farm so we can spread some irrigation to this style. And two turns, yep. That's the deal. And yeah. Kinda want to spread uh, <laughs> our religion over here. But for now, just building culture and pressuring back Catherine. Oh, we are close to getting this style. And another tuple whip. Yeah, we just need units now. Two pop, three pop, okay. Okay, let's see. Let's let's see what what we can send to Calcutta if we want to. We can send a pretty big stack to Calcutta. So that would be okay, I guess. And just go down that path. Yeah, we have a lot of points into it, so yeah, let's go for Calcutta. That would kind of be um, the easiest city, I think. And we'll uh, have our stack in one uh, big ball. That's okay. I'm hoping for the chance to take out a bunch of his units like out in the open. Maybe like this. Oh yeah, nice. Yeah, we got one experience from that. And we have a... Oh, we can get two experience. And this guy... Yeah, this is crazy actually. <laughs> Let's see, can we get... Do we need one more guy? Yeah, this one. Alright, picking up free experience, that's really cool. Or free promotions, I mean. And okay, he's coming here now. With some units. Thinking he's smart. He's going to have a pretty uh, hard time attacking this city. I think we'll wait until he's one step closer. That will make it easier for us to take out his units. And okay, next turn is sprinting press. Yeah, maybe we should have voted for make peace with Sitting Bull. Um, he's close neighbors to him, so it might be annoying if he. Uh, they might 
feel the pressure from him. But okay, I don't think that's going to be that big of a deal. Okay, now we need guilds. Let's see how bad is it. I think this is okay. A little bit worse than I was expecting though, but uh, still manageable. Oh, yeah. This is a pretty cool thing we can do now. Jump around and just kill off units left and right. While we still masses our well, we still have a pretty high research rate. Okay, I think we are safe uh, in this direction. So maybe we should just send... Yeah, we are safe over here. He has this mountain range in the way, in the way so he can't really counterattack us. So let's send a small little task force with the trebuchets to Patilunia. Combined with these units. Yeah, there's no... Oh, yeah. We did the... We do have our, yeah, we have a medical over here, so that's nice. Okay, but next turn we're going to take out that city, hopefully. Uh, yeah, maybe we should just focus on some units. We're going to slow down our research just a little bit. Two pop whip. Three turn unit. Growing. Yeah, sure, let's just grow. We kind of want guilds actually. Guilds gives one extra hammer for the workshops and give it the apocracy. And we have, we have bananas. We have bananas. We have sugar. A spice, we have. Uh, isn't there something else that gives. Yeah, ban bananas. I think we can get 5 or 6 health from that one building. And that's pretty significant actually. Let's just put our units uh, one little inch fur further forward. Maybe this will encu encourage him to defend this city or something. Um, okay, looks fine. Yeah, we're getting a forge here so we can get one more unit per turn. <laughs> or one more uh, uh, specialist. Okay, and um, next turn. While defending. Did he snipe? Is he sniped a curiouser like in the middle of our land? Well, I don't know what he was thinking, but that was pretty dumb. If you're going to trade one for one with us, you are in some serious problems. And okay, so I think the best way we can do about this is just straight up attack with double promotions. Pretty solid. Want to make peace now? Oh, but he's getting there. Picking up some gold.
Ah, uh, we have fully healed troops, almost. Let's just keep going. Yeah, we probably can take this city next turn. Even though I think it would be much more cost efficient to use our trebuchets since we have so many guys over here. Let's get in over here again. Um, Strand one that needs experience point. This guy. Even his shock promoted, so that's pretty. It's an added bonus in that case. Yeah, so this is just going to be a nice little base to heal our units. And we have this guy. Yeah, getting some more longbows. Pretty okay. Just want to work those gold uh, gem mines. Other than that, it's not that big deal. What big of a deal? What that city is doing? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm tempted to just pick up guilds. Guilds will enable the city to be so much more productive. But you know what? Maybe we should just focus on the growth for now. Don't tell me. Oh man, what is this? Yeah, it's actually better to work on engineer. But not this one. Or it is actually better. <laughs> we have the. What is this? Do we have the anchor wall? Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, I take it back. This is better. <laughs> Getting a lot of culture and stuff. Nice tube of whip. No, not yet. We are getting to that point. And you know what? Let's take back this thing. Yeah, I think we just want to whip a little bit more efficient and stuff. Okay, that's that's the most optimal thing we can do over there. And let's see. We can probably smash this tile. Pick up some more gold. That's fine. And okay. Next turn. In the monastery. Go. In the temple. Oh, I can, cannot whip. It's unfortunate. Uh, theater, we can. Let's whip a theater. We are actually probably going to keep these cities. So, yeah. I think, I think we're still in some kind of position to keep these cities. Or we will have time to actually develop or get, them, get the cities to function before we go for our next thing. Let's see, let's just smash another tile I guess. Yeah. Yeah, let's just... We have our trebuchets here, so let's just bombard with some trebuchets next turn. And let's see, do we have another unit over here? Uh, let's send this one. <laughs> our healer guy. I like getting a couple of those. Always nice to have our kind of a refreshed army. Let's get a farm. And okay.
put ourselves in a position where we can uh, definitely take take that city. What what did the delay the Delhi have great lighthouse? That's a pretty solid wonder for us to pick up. I don't think he can counterattack us. So let's just do that. We have a we have an archer here. We have a couple of these guys. Yeah, definitely he cannot do, do anything against us. Let's just do this. Is this on a hill? Yeah. So we have a we have some defense here now, and we're going to heal. So I think we're fine. Let's see any more tube of whips. Can probably get a tube of repair very soon. I'm not sure if we're going to take it. Let's keep making farms everywhere. And okay, uh, do we self tech guilds? Uh, let's make peace with him. That will probably help our cause in capitulating him a little bit. I'm going to go for Catherine next. Okay. Let's see. Let's grab another guy. 17 turns. Sure. Let's build a warp bolt. <laughs> okay. Are we actually reaching unhealthiness over here? That's not good. One unhealth. Did someone come in here and. No. Yeah. Are we going to. Going to make some farms here instead? And okay. Let's just remember to do this. There we go. And just like that. He has a lot of stuff over here. But that's not going to help him too much. These guys are just going to go for super collateral damage. And get these guys soft now. Okay. Yeah. We start off by with 50%. It's pretty amazing. Oh right, all right, another general. Oh. Yeah, sure. And we're using these guys first because they are for they are closest. Nice. And they will uh, uh Yeah they're closest. Is this on a hill? Oh it's on a hill. Okay, never mind then. But it helps us to uh, Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm I'm trying to like uh, conserve the movement points as much as possible. It doesn't really matter, so let's not be bothered with it then. Okay, another strong capture. Really great stuff. Now we need to reinforce make sure that our city aren't being uh, recaptured anytime soon and uh, yeah okay we have one general over here maybe we should just settle another one will we capitulate by the way oh yeah okay yeah I think that's a pretty solid thing to do uh, 
And yeah, perfect timing. <laughs> I just looked at the clock and uh, saw it was 40 minutes. So thinking this is a good time to uh, reevaluate if we should keep going with the war. Because we can pick up Delhi. That's the Great Lighthouse City. But I don't think that's such a good idea actually. Yeah, Lincoln is probably going for <laughs> culture. I'm, I'm thinking about keeping Calcutta, Agra, or basically all of these cities. Give back Patagla Putta and let him just keep this stuff because that will give him a lot of. Uh, this is his stack. So he will be a somewhat of a useful guy against St. Petersburg and that kind of units, that, that kind of cities. Yeah, and I think we will really quickly can capitulate Catherine. So yeah, I'm thinking, uh, but I'm going to take a break and uh, reevaluate the situation. I'm thinking we're going to take the deal and uh, yeah, like capitulate him, pick up guilds. That's a great trade for us right now because that will give us a lot of extra hammers in this city and we can build apocrasis. Or ow, how do we even pronounce that thing? But I think that's a pretty solid move actually. And we can maybe trade for chemistry. Oh yeah, chemistry gives one extra with lib. So that's something. <laughs> Just realized no one else can pick up economics. So we can get economics. Yeah. We need banking of course. You can get banking after guilds. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to end of this episode. So thanks for watching and I see you soon.